Hello, this is Jill. Well, we got a clog sink here. Um, I've already sort of tried to get the stopper out, and it's not the stopper. I took the cap off. It's somewhere in the pipe. I could either remove the pipes, or I could uh, try first just a plunger here in this sink. And I'm just going to kind of cover the plunger, and this is this kind of shaped plunger, so it's isolating the hole there. Now, as I do this, um, this little drain pipe hole here has to kind of be plugged, and I'll do that with my hands. Uh, I don't have gloves on, I apologize, but it's a little easier doing this. I'm just going to fill it up with a little water to kind of create a seal. And as you can see, as I plunge it, the water comes out of this drain hole. So I'm going to plug this up with my hand and see if I can get some suction going. Oh, spilling water all over the place. But as you can see, it does not work. So that was my first attempt. Um, next, I'm going to try a snake. Okay, so I have a little standard snake here. It has just, uh, I'm not sure how many feet this is, but again, I took the little topper uh, cap off. Sometimes you can't do this and have to go in and remove the whole topper, but in this case, I could just untwist this. And I'm going to see if I can just kind of get this snake past this little stopper here. I may or may not be able to do that. And I cannot. So I'm going to have to remove the, the little uh, stopper here and then uh, let this drain for a little while. And then remove that and then come back and see if I can re-snake this, uh, this line. Okay, so I just drained all the water underneath, and you could, uh, now I have another video that shows how to remove this little topper here, uh, or stopper, but uh, for now I'm just going to remove this, and then see if I could actually fish this thing in. I'm reversing, it seems to be a little stuck right now. So the snake goes about this far down and it seems to hit something. So I'm going to hold it with my finger and kind of bring it up and get a sense of how deep this is. And then go under the sink and see kind of where this clog may be. Now I'm under the sink, you can see the bowl which I use to drain with. And I sort of measured it all the way past the P-trap here to this little elbow right here that goes in the wall. So uh, the, the blockage I think is right about here. I'm, I'm really hoping not to be able, I could always uh, remove this um, joint right here and clean this out. I'm hoping not to do that. Let's see what I can do with the snake. So I wasn't able to snake it through. It would go through the P-trap over here and get stuck right here, either because of the clog or because this elbow is just a little bit too difficult to get through. So I do have the bowl here. I've already drained the water. You can see where the uh, stopper uh, bar is right there. And it's already drained to about here. So I'm just going to undo the bottom of the P-trap here and then drain the remaining water in the system. Check the P-trap seems to be clear. And then come over here and undo this one and see. And remove this. Interesting. This actually went all the way here, which is a little too far for it. I'm, if I'm going to reuse this, I'm going to cut this a little shorter because this went all the way in. See if you can see that. Zoom in. I was a little surprised by this. This went way too far in and is actually uh, preventing uh, the snake to go around there and it's probably also creating the blockage. So bare minimum, I'm going to cut this shorter so it won't go as far in. 
Well, let's see if the, uh, the snake will work now. Sort of stopped, probably about a foot in. something there. Well, I hit something. Looks like it went through it. So I'm going to go back and forth a little bit where I think it is. If I can clean it out. Okay, so I think I got through the clog. Uh, hopefully the snake went down the pipe rather than up the vent. So uh, I won't know that until I get this thing back together. So I uh, cut the pipe end a little bit shorter so it won't go as far in right there. And I'm just gonna be putting this back together here. Just loosely set this in place for now. Like that. Set this and then get this in place so it goes about that far in. And then adjust it until it's a good position. You want this pipe kind of straight out, and this could be this could be the elbow bending. put the stopper arm back in and connect the stopper. Okay, we've got everything put back together and let's see if it actually runs. Well, it looks like it's running now, so I think we found the clog. Well, I hope this video helped you out and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.